Hi everyone, it's Katie, one of the librarians here at the West Dallas Public Library. This week before Thanksgiving, we're going to give you some staff Thanksgiving tips and tricks and treats for you to hopefully plan for your family celebration. So today I'm going to share something that would be great for a kid's activity or even a kid's table decoration. This is something that I used to make with my cousins. Um, my grandma found the recipe and or the instructions so to speak in like an old woman's home journal those kind of um, magazines probably when I was in my teens and I remember making these almost every year and it could have been earlier my memory is short these days um, but it's a fun activity to make with kids or like I said to decorate a kids table um, and here's what it looks like when it's finished a cute little turkey um, and we're gonna make it today so before we get started let's go over what you need to make this amazing turkey wafer cookies you'll need two for each turkey you plan on making for a substitution you can use fudge stripe cookies those look adorable so I have my two cookies um, store-bought or I guess homemade if you were, want um, chocolate icing Again, you don't need any certain kind, just brown chocolate icing. Candy corn, highly recommend checking bargain bins right now. It was really hard for me to find candy corn this time of year. Chocolate covered cherries. I guess I can grab my, um, so here is a chocolate covered cherry. I'm gonna grab three candy corn, or I guess I grab four. Burnt peanuts, now I'll give you a hint. These are hard to find. There is a store in West Dallas on Greenfield Avenue that sells them in bulk, that's what I'll tell you if you want to make these and chocolate chips again this is where my prior planning did not go very well I have mini chocolate chips but normal size will look much better as well as you could use Hershey's Kisses for an alternative view okay getting started making these is really simple in fact the hardest thing is getting everything to stick together so you'll take your two Nilla wafers and put one flat side down this one has a little bite, not a bite, a chip out of it, no big deal. I'm just gonna put that towards the back. Keep this one off to the side. Grab your icing. I have a spoon, a knife works just as well. I kind of grabbed what I had here at the library today. But this kind of works nice because you can spoon it on. And of course, then you don't have to worry about, um, I guess, kids using a knife if you do wanna have young kids doing this. Um, my kids are five and eight, and I would, in fact, I will bring the leftovers home for them to make these with after filming. So now I have a base with some frosting on it. I'm going to place my chocolate covered cherry in the middle of it. Um, I might actually move it up to a little bit to the front and you'll see why. So that cookie, I put the icing on the rounded part. This one, I'm gonna put it on the flat part. And again, the cookie isn't perfect. You can go through the box and look for perfect cookies, but like many things, I'm just gonna use the little flaws to make it unique. You're gonna stick this back and hopefully you can see how that's kind of gonna make the feathers. It's pointing down a little bit. Um, so hopefully when it gets finished, I can get it to angle up a little bit more. Now the candy corn is how you're gonna make your feathers. I have found that if you break the bottom part off, it's gonna stick a little bit better. Also autumn corn is gonna look, or fall harvest fest or whatever. The one that has chocolate in it looks a little bit more like um, feathers, but I had trouble finding candy corn at all this year, so I took what I can get. Again, braid Halloween baskets if you guys have leftover Halloween candy, or improvise. I've seen them made, like I said, with fudge stripe cookies. Ooh, that one's fallen already. Fudge stripe cookies. Use what you have. Okay, so that looks like that. And now for the head and the gobbler. Our head is going to be our chocolate chip. Again, I did not realize I had many chocolate chips. Part of me thinks, who picks these out? And then part of me goes like, it was me or my kids. So, and then the burnt peanut for the gobbler, which I think just makes it look hysterical. If you, you might have to go through it to find a smaller one or just hold it to get it to stick. Now we have a fabulous Thanksgiving turkey. The great thing about these is there are so many variations if you don't want to make it this way. I've seen it instead of using a chocolate covered cherry, using a Reese's peanut butter mini cup and a Hershey's Kiss. Um, I saw if you don't want to do the frosting with the um, candy corn using a fudge stripe cookie, you can buy little candy eyes. Where have I been that I haven't seen these in the store to make turkey eyes on them? 
But this is a simple, fun little Thanksgiving thing you can make for the table at your home this Thanksgiving. Okay, thanks for sharing with me today. And I hope some of you have fun making a Thanksgiving turkey for your table. And check back with us tomorrow when we share another Thanksgiving tip and trick. Bye, everyone.